um, can you give me more details about like this demo um, mm -hmm. in terms of so that our readers can understand the complexity mm -hmm. how would that compare with say something um, I don't know powered by I don't know SGI five years ago or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like how would you What's, what's the benchmark? How, this, this, how many pixels? Yeah. Um, I mean, I have to, um, I have to kind of look into what we're doing for that particular demo. Yeah. But um, this is, um, is the level of detail in this, and the amount of processing that's going on yeah. is as uh, significant. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, I have not seen anything. So one of the things, obviously, with dual core is uh, performance. Um, so. So what we've done here in performance, now we're talking, you know, people are using a lot of devices more and more. They're doing different things. You go on a page, there's like Flash 10 video here and, you know, some WebGL stuff, you know, over here. So there's lots of things going on. And uh, right now, the performance is not up to par with okay. that experience. Okay. So one of the things you can see with dual core. So what I got here is I got three tabs. Yeah. Um, these two are simulating, you know, browsing experience, yeah. right? And that's your frames per second. Yeah. That's the, the uh, HTML, uh, HTML that's the famous Microsoft. Microsoft. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So we just kind of dropped it in here. Okay. Uh, that would be interesting of, to see. Put a bunch of fish in there, right? So what I'm going to do now. So you see this is like 20 frames per second. Yeah. This one barely 15. Um, it's actually more than I used to. How many t-shirts are there? there? You know what? I don't know. I think uh, maybe Close, 10. Yeah. Maybe okay. in that range. So I just turned the other cord on. Um, you see it almost twice, the performance. So... So the uh, the scaling is um, is proportional to the number. It's almost linear, linear yeah. Number. I mean, it's amazing the scaling you get. Um, so I mean, you went to 30 frames per second here. This one can go up to 60, depending on what you're doing. So um, it's a really amazing in terms of the you know, it just shows you kind of what what we can accomplish when we have two cores. <laughs> so that's a 1080p uh, pretty high bitrate video. Yeah. Um, you can see it here. You can see it there. All processed. Uh, this be all, all being processed on the device using our video engine. Yeah. Uh, this one video, in the interest of time, I'm going to show you another one. This one is actually very high bit rate, I think 18 or 20 you know, megabit bit rate. My laptop can't play this. You got the better replace it. What's that? You better replace it with a uh, Qualcomm based laptop. Yeah. Obviously, uh, 5 1 surround sound. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, so that's that, and um, cameras for 3D capture. So I that's could supported do... natively by the um, uh, the SOC. Like, yes, yes. Uh, so if I had two cameras feeding me in yeah. to this chipset, I can do capture 3D as well. Okay. So we're working on a demo for that as well. Yeah. <laughs> so you can have a phone with a 3D, 3D camera. 3D camera. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's go for it. I just got this device from uh, Bala. If it's not working, grab different boxes. Whoa. Did you press the button? Oh, we're on. Created. I mean, when you when you think of GPU, it's always gaming. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, the other thing about the new GPU is we have uh, dedicated 2D 
yeah. hardware yeah. now. So you can have basically 2D and 3D concurrency, mm -hmm. much better 2D and 3D. So mm -hmm. OpenVG, OpenGL, all that. Yeah. You can like you know you have different blocks that handle 2D and 3D. Mm -hmm. So okay. uh, so a lot of yeah, it should it should improve um, performance. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Scary little guy. Oh, you, you, get your, you get your finger? Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Oh, uh, wait, how do Maybe we get you keep your finger? Is it, is oh, it only touch to sensitive oh. or is it motion sensor? Is, is it... Is it motion sensitive as well? Uh, th th there are sensors inside, right. but this is not doing motion sensor. Oh, yeah. It's basically just touch, touch sensor. Yeah.